Here's part of historical Main Street, Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Some details right here. But what do we got over here? If that's one clue, uh, you might be able to know where I am. This is the Red Lion Inn in Stockbridge from 1773. Let's get a good look right here. You can see it's pretty much a historical hotel. There's the sign. It's a really nice hotel. Get a look at some of the details here. A couple flags flying in the wind. It's a pretty calm day today. So, I wonder what we got in here. Here we have an 1897 Otis elevator. And there's a grandfather clock. As you can see, Otis Elevator Company. Let's take a look in here. Victorian era birdcage elevator. Here's the look up the shaft right there. You can see a few pulleys. Just get a look at this really good, intricate detailing here. There's your buttons. Obviously this was added sometime later. But I'd say it's still 95% original. Now there's this cable running through here. As you can see, it was a water-powered uh, hydraulic elevator, I think. At least according to this placard right here. So, yeah. And there's some Dover equipment up there. And the historic lake fixture. I'm not sure when that was added. Just one more look. The detailing. Well, if we go up these stairs here, we can get a little bit more look at the uh, detailing of this elevator. It's pretty much like a bird cage. Now if you might notice a little bit of Dover blue. Dover came in at some point and uh, pretty much automated this thing. See if you could see right there Dover. Here's a look at one of the intermediate floors. It's pretty much a basic gate right here. Continuing up the stairs. You can get, get an idea. Another look at the uh, intermediate landing. Now there's these call buttons here. Pretty historic call button system. Now there's the counterweight up there. C706A. Try to look through the, uh, the cage here. So, now if we get up here, you can see the the top there, the hoist. There's the uh, pulley for the counterweight. And going down there, obviously, is the uh, elevator itself. Now, you might be able to see it here. That could be part of the uh, original system. That pulley there, uh, I believe if you pull it, it would activate the, uh, the water system. Let's get a closer look at that. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. This is a better view. One more look at it. You can see that cable right there. I think you can. Straight from 1897, but with a few uh, modern sprinkles. Oh yeah, this black pole right here, that's just, uh, that's just for the uh, part of the automation system. Now I believe how this, why this uh, traction system's here, the cable, uh, it's part, I believe it's part of the uh, water powered system. The uh, counterweight there would, uh, I believe would pull the elevator down a little bit, try to ease it. I think that's how it works. Not 100% sure. Here's the cage. Just to go right up on the top and go back? Or yes, to the top, please. Okay. Uh, could you open the door for me, please? Sure. Can I step out? Don't want to hold you up too much. <laughs> Stepping out here. While we're up here, let's get a cab view. Street from 1897. See, here's the bird cage itself. As you can see down here, they added a hydraulic ram. As you can see down there, and there's some equipment in there. Heading back down. This is definitely you know, something to see. Oh, here comes the counterweight. Can I get a view of the buttons, please? Sure. Now notice this cable going th through here. This was water powered according to the thing over there. Correct? You know?
All right. That's good enough. 